What's up guys, School here. I just want to make this quick video detailing how the dialogue system in my game works. Let's take a look at the scene structure first. So here I have an NPC and under it I have all the normal components for an NPC, collision, shapes, etc. But for the dialogue parts, the first element I have is a dialogue manager. This is the one which manages the interaction with player with an interact area and it manages starting and stopping the dialogue then we all will have a dialogue database this is different for each npc in the dialogue ue we have just a dialogue label which is a text showcasing the dialogue then we have a name label showcasing the name of the speaker and finally we have the dialogue player, this is the node which handles the actual playing of the dialogue, handles taking in input to move the dialogue forward, handles the typewriting effect and handles changing the cameras based on what is reading on the JSON file. Now let's take a look at the code used. So for the dialogue, dialogue manager, first of all, the first function that is called here is the play dialogue call. So it will change the game state, then it will set the uh, dialogue, dialogue to be what the dialogue database feeds to it. And it will start the dialogue player with the dialogue. Here we have a typical interaction structure where I can check if the player enters the interact area or exits it and then enable the interaction for the dialogue. So when the dialogue manager makes the call to the dialogue database, it will pick a dialogue from here and return a string which is a path to the JSON file containing the specific dialogue. For here we can change this depending on each NPC, make different sort of dialogue trees, we can make different sort of quest structures, all, all kinds of different things can be done here. Then on the dialogue player, this will have obviously references to all of the UE elements and the cameras. Here the first function that the dialogue is fit into is the start function. Here we check if the file is a correct path. This way we don't get any errors and if the, if the file doesn't exist then we just stop right away. But if the file does exist then we go into loading the dialogue. Here we convert the JSON file in the dictionary and save it in an array here. The next steps are to set the name box and text box visible and set the name to be first line and then we will go over to typewriting. On the typewrite function we basically take the current line and then split that into parts and add one character at a time to the display line which is shown on screen to create a typewriter effect. This has a typing speed vari variable which I pull from my settings auto lot. And in the process function I handle uh, taking an in input. Here we can see if the line is typing and we get an input, then we will stop the line typing and the full line will play. And if the line has been typed out, then we will, and we get an input, then we will advance the dialogue. The, on the advanced dialogue, it basically just increases the index, then does the same thing as it does on the start function. And here we can take a look at the, one of the JSON files. This contains one dialogue itself. 
and it's basically an array of dictionaries and each of the dictionary contains one line. There's the camera used for this line of dialogue. Then there's the name of the speaker and the text spoken. So with this system it's pretty easy to write dialogue into the JSON files and allow me to create narrative elements to my game and even rig quest systems and dialogue systems together creating this narrative experience. Thanks for watching, hopefully that helped you out.